Good morning, everybody. And welcome to Nerd Blocks Arcade Block. Yes, it is time again to open the blind box shaped like an old NES with extra parts that I don't remember actually the NES having. Like, for example, the one and two above the controllers. At least I'm assuming that's what's behind the tape. I've never actually seen it without the tape. And I've noticed that there's no uh, Konami code tape this time around. It's just regular white tape. Hmm. But as is normal with Arcade Block, it is the same exact... Uh, everything else is freaking identical from box to box. This isn't uh, like the other box thing, the blind box thing that... Uh, has different sizes box and shapes boxes and you can fold the boxes up and all that fun crap this doesn't have that um so let us begin Ooh. on top for once we don't have a shirt on top anyways we have a goomba plushie Ooh, that's actually pretty cool wait no, I don't. I thought I had a Mario plushie, but uh, no, I, I had a Zelda plushie, a Link plushie specifically. Uh, it was from Legend of Zelda, but it's a Link plushie. Um, that's, it's a, it's a Goomba. Squitch. <laughs> you can actually squitch it. It has beads in its feet, I guess. Yeah, it stands up on its own. Mostly. <laughs> Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Underneath the Goomba, it was the shirt. And it was... Oh, wow, this is a pretty looking shirt already. Wind Waker. It is. It's Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, this is the Zelda arcade block, isn't it? Uh, that's what they advertised last month, right? I think. I seem to remember something about that. Um, I appreciate that they're not plastering a logo all over their shirt. I really do. But yes, that is a really nice shirt. That is going into the rotation. I gotta do my laundry, you know, pretty much when I'm done recording this. This is going into the laundry, and this is going to be worn tomorrow. More than likely, anyways. That's a nice shirt. I like that shirt. Moving along, we have another Ginky ring. But at least this time around, it's Legend of Zelda. Get rid of the random useless bag and let's get rid of the random shiny block or box that's just being a problem oh it's somebody was nice and just used twist ties i thank you whoever decided to do that i thank you i hate when they use zip ties for stuff like that it is the legend of zelda shield now this is the dark link shield i'm trying to get it good on camera but it's really hard because of lighting and autofocus and crap like that. I mean, you get the general gist of it. It's the Ocarina of Time shield, but it's chrome and black. So it's it's the Dark Link shield. So that's pretty cool. Does it actually say anything special about it? Arcade block, keychain, nickel-plated zinc? Uh, no. Maybe it says it on that little pamphlet thingy that they have later on. But I like that. I really, really like that. It's rather nicely detailed. Uh, a few scuffs on it, but uh, no, no, those weren't scuffs. They were just fingerprints. But yeah, I like it. That's actually pretty nice. Is that actually black chrome? No, I think that is just shadow. I think the inside is the same color as the outside. Huh. Huh, trippy. It's an optical illusion. Neat. And then, of course, we have... <laughs> I'm giving this to a friend of mine. He's going to love this. He likes putting stuff on his dashboard. I don't. Um, hang on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so it's got adhesive on its bottom. So you can... It, it's for your dashboard. But that's just silly. Oh, that is hilariously silly. Uh, it's, it's like hard rubber kind of ish. That's weird. But of course, you know where the chicken came from. This is, of course, the Legend of Zelda box, apparently. But, uh, hmm. except, of course, for 
Mr. Goomba so far. Anyway, so now we have Galax Z the Dimensional soundtrack. Side A, the Dimensional. Side B, White Tusk. Music by Synfg. Your miss. I would like to buy a vowel, please. Synfg. Uh, okay. Yeah, is, is that a vinyl? Seriously, that looks like a freaking vinyl. Hang on a second. It's a freaking vinyl. Huh. Well, that's cool. It's one of the little tiny ones, but it's a freaking vinyl. Oh, trippy. That is crazy. That is not something I expected to see in a blind box. It is a freaking vinyl. Huh. Well, conveniently, I have a record player. Inconveniently, my stereo is broken. Actually, technically, my stereo is being borrowed by my company whose stereo is broken. So, uh, and then we have a thing. Oh my god, that is pretty. It, it, it's, it's canvas, and it's on wood, um, and it's got hangers in it. Yes, it does, inside the plastic. That is nice. There we go. Let's take these off. Are the are the corner bits supposed to come off? Because they don't look like they want to. No, they are attached. So it doesn't look like the corner bits are supposed to come off. That's just it. Okay. Um, no, I think the corner bits are supposed to come off. Um, if they ain't supposed to come off, they are coming off, eventually. Uh, Great Unknown Publishing. It says so at the bottom. Great Unknown Publishing. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Let's see what we got. We have... 15% uh, off your next online purchase at www.crosleyradio.com. What are you... Receive 15% off your next turntable from Crosley Radio. Simply enter the special offer code below during the checkout you receive to receive the discount. I have a record player. I don't have a turntable. Turntables are the ones you can scratch. I don't have a turntable. I have a record player. Okay, interesting. Moving along. Whoop, we have... Introducing Sci-Fi Block. Oh, shit. There goes another 20 bucks a month. First block includes Star Wars The Force Awakens Funko Pop, a celebrity autograph, and more. Yep, there goes another 20 bucks a month. <sighs> Behold, a new block dedicated to Sci-Fi every month, featuring brands such as Star Wars, Back to the Future, Star Trek, Doctor Who, The X-Files, Starship Troopers, yeah, and so on and so forth. Hey, it's got Firefly. The very first sci-fi block shipped this November in highly limited quantities. Reserve your place in history at nerdblock.com starting September 28th. Oh, that was yesterday. Well, thank you for actually shipping me this somewhat close to on time. I appreciate that. Maybe I can get into this uh, very limited thing. I want to see what this is. Okay. The Legend of Zelda t-shirt. This is the, the, the thing that tells me what everything is. Exclusive Wind Waker t-shirt. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, a link to the block two. Oh, a link to the arcade block two. It actually says that. Um, so this is, I guess, the second Legend of Zelda arcade block that they've done? Hmm, must be. Uh, with this exclusive shirt punch t-shirt, you're ready for adventuring on the high seas. Love this shirt? Then check out blah, 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 advertisements and all that fun. Exclusive canvas, the hero triumphs. Okay, so the, the, the edge pieces are supposed to come off. Good, because they were going to. The hero's journey is a tale we're all familiar with, punctuated by important milestones. One such milestone is depicted on this canvas print, featuring artwork by world-renowned artist Rush Moore. No, Russ Moore, sorry. Um, 
yes, that is very, very nice picture. Uh, exclusive. Oh, it's freaking exclusive everything, isn't it? Almost. Uh, exclusive keychain and or the hero shield. Is that supposed to be black chrome or is that just... I can't tell. It's hard to tell. It's all too damn shiny. A shield is an important thing to have throughout your adventuring. It can help fend off enemy attacks, deflect arrows, and apparently defeat Ganon. Um, dorkly joke, in case you didn't get it. Uh, deflect arrows and also keep your keys in one place. Cheat code time. If you remove the key ring, this is also a fashionable pendant for your favorite necklace. Uh, I don't think it would fit on my necklace. Exclusive Springs Chicken. We know this one. We know we're not supposed to go after these critters, but let's face it, we always end up spending a ridiculous amount of time chasing them around instead of questing, and they always seem to bounce away as if they were on some sort of spring. Well, now this fella is literally on a spring. Okay. Exclusive Galax Z 7-inch record. Galax Z is a game we can't stop playing. I've never heard of it before. And part of the reason is the amazing soundtrack. We've pressed two of the tracks to this... Ex or yeah, we've pressed two of the tracks to this exclusive high collectible record. Don't have a record player? We've included a sweet deal on turntables. <sighs> I guess the distinction between record player and turntable is only in my head. Or, you know, back in the 90s when it was when the distinction was first made. And, of course, the 5-inch Goomba and Boo plush. Okay, so you could have gotten a Goomba or you could have gotten a Boo. I am glad I got the Goomba. Everyone needs a snuggle buddy. I'm sorry, this thing's as big as my hand, so it's not very good as a snuggle buddy. Stay. Thank you. Uh, even bad guys. Won't you be a snuggle buddy for a Mushroom Kingdom villain? Maybe all they ever wanted... Oh, 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 I get it, I get it. We're the snuggle buddy for the bad guy. Okay, I get it. Maybe all they ever wanted was some affection and are terribly misunderstood. We asked if this was the case, but they're not much for talking. Um... Well, considering all they do is just bounce back and forth until Mario comes in and squitched them, yeah, they don't really qualify as bad guys, do they? Because they're not really—they don't really do anything aggressive. Okay, so we are down to the empty box, and now it's time for the traditional everything that goes back in the box. Well, of course, this goes back in the box because you know that's how I tell which box came from which. Uh, this is just an advertisement, so of course it goes back in the box. This is also an advertisement and unneeded for me because I have a record player, so it goes back in the box. And that's it. Everything else is pretty freaking sweet. The keychain is awesome. The uh, Goomba plushie, yeah, that's going somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where exactly it's going, but it's going somewhere. Uh, now, if it was just me... I would put this back in the box because, you know, it's cool, it's creative, it's cute, but I would never use it. However, I know exactly who would use it, so they're getting it. Boop. This is getting hung up on the wall. I don't know if it's going into the museum to hang up on the wall. I don't think it is. I think I'm going to be uh, greedy on this one, and this is going on my wall. So that's definitely getting hung up. Whee! The record, that's freaking sweet. That's going on the record player once I actually get a working stereo again. And as I mentioned before, the t-shirt, I'm wearing that tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so we had a very sweet arcade block this, t this month. So, I'm going to say to you guys as always, keep playing the game and have fun.